Can we get mad? Here's a clicker. This is voice back. session, as you probably figured out, is the accounting session, and uh, generally accounting is not exciting. <laughs> Any accountants in the room? By profession? Okay, time to start, Aviyan. You should have. Yeah. <laughs> She's been introduced. Now she feels like a real accountant. <laughs> That's Except she election. doesn't know that a real accountant's life is more of a nightmare than she can ever imagine. You make yeah. money, yes, but it's... Uh, a whole lot of stuff. It's working like a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, all the time. So, has anybody ever done any accounting classes at all? Maybe introductory? I did um, a COB. I did a first COB. The yeah. old COB. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that was many years ago. I graduated in 2016. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, that I was, was fresh with Mr. Mr. He just passed. I forget his name. He just passed. I, I know you taught you know what I mean, right? He taught you accounting? Yes. Ah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. He was he was around for quite some time. Right, right. right. I was the base the same on the same week earlier this year. Yeah. He passed in December. Oh, okay. Pinder. David Pinder. Pinder, that's yeah. right, David Pinder. Yeah, I thought I was busy. Oh. I attempted um accounting too, but I failed it. I didn't need it for my for my degree. I tried to do it as we left it. Right. And I failed it. So. Do you know why you failed it? Um, I think, did anybody tell you why? I think because I didn't need it for my elective. Oh, I took it for granted. That attitude, like, I, I don't think, need it. Right. I took it for granted and didn't right. get it, you know. Right. right. That's typically what happens sometimes. Yes. <laughs> That's why I ask. Yes. Sometimes we, if, it's, if we don't think it's really serious. Right. We tend to be a little lackluster. Right. Sometimes you need it and you still fail. Yeah. I, th I think I have I have a 20 year old son that's my baby mm -hmm. I think he has an attitude towards academics period most boys hey well not not too many too many yeah. but yeah too many okay. uh, yeah. but his problem is he was never really interested in this word S T U D Y yeah. When he was little. Yeah. Dante, can you we, look at that? Okay. Three minutes later, mm -hmm. he's no, not sleep. He started doing stuff, rolling over. Yeah. Get up. I'm like, what the? Dante, you have to focus. Yeah. <laughs> Five minutes later, he's. I'm like, oh man. Especially little boys. Yeah, I said, okay, he'll grow out of it. Yeah, and I'll be much. down when he got to grade six. Mm -hmm. He just started shifting. Then he got, I'm like, okay, maybe when he gets to grade yeah, nine, right. BJC, yeah, you know, chain on. Right. Yeah. But, but I've discovered eventually that all of our children are not going to yeah. be the same. Mm -hmm. And in as much as I wanted him to be studious, yeah. not all of them are going to be that way. Yeah. And I had to come to that realization. <laughs> so by the time he somehow graduated from QC. I don't know how the hell that happened. <laughs> he said, Dad, my older brother went to college, therefore, I would have to go. I'm like, to myself, are you kidding me? <coughs> you need to go and do what you do. No, but he wants to go. So, so, I don't know. I figured I have a duty to give him a shot at it with an ultimatum or something like this. If you don't do after that, then you get the hell out and go and get something else. But he wants to go to college. 
Yeah, yeah he did. He somehow scratched through one year, like yeah, eight yeah. breakdown, all that. I'm thinking if he had a big breakdown in year one, <laughs> but I, the, which doesn't surprise me because I don't know how he got out. <laughs> and you know what is interesting about this boy? He is not D U M. He's just not interested in sitting down for any period of time to read information and then regurgitate it and then say, I'm brilliant. He's just not there. You know what he wants to do? He wants to play music. So he's in music and he plays the piano. So all day he wants to be thinking. That's it. I'm thinking, oh, this is what's going on. That's him and that's you. And his brother, because his brother is academic. Okay. okay? Then, when he's not it, okay, then he wants to draw something like like that. Yeah, yeah, he's an artist. When I discovered that, then I realized because most artists anywhere in the world are not interested in this. You may find a few exceptions, but most of them are not. So if any of you have a child or have one in the future who doesn't seem like they give a damn, it's not that they don't. Maybe they are. Yeah. Yes. And he likes, he likes, like, all that video sound, he could. I said if they could put his entire academic career in a video game, he'll pass with flying colors. Wow. He keeps coming. Kind of, Dad, you know that it's ABC of the QRS of the UVG. I'm like, what the hell are you saying? He knows every single thing about those things. And when I walk in his room, instead of study, he has three, three monitors open up with 17 windows doing all kinds of crazy stuff, mixing music. I'm like, what the flick? <laughs> That's what I wasted my time. It's, not, it's really not a waste. It only appeared that way because we all oftentimes want our children to be right. academic. Yeah. Like Susie's children right. or yeah. Tingham Dam's children like that. But the truth of the matter is God is so full of interesting stuff. Yeah. He doesn't make all of us like that. No. We all have different stuff going on. So don't panic if your children are not going the way you think they should go. Because maybe... Just maybe they have some other things they had to do. It has nothing to do with a law degree right. or a degree in medicine or accountancy or whatever, engineering, whatever the case might be. It might just be something out there. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. So suffer it to <laughs> some here to be a mortician. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> See that? That's nothing big business to do. Too, yeah. yeah, that's big business too. Are you a mortician? No. Oh, just oh, I, I had a classmate from uh, about grade eight. Yes. He used to be talking about he wanted to be a mortician. That's all he wanted to do, correct? He worked. Is he a mortician today? Yeah. Absolutely. He worked at Bethel's and, and, and from from mostly grade nine or ten, and that's what they sent him away to school. Absolutely. And, and, by, and when all of us are unemployed, who's working? Oh yeah, yeah. guarantee a job. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, someone always dies. One of us gonna drop dead every day somewhere. That's all he ever thought of. Absolutely. And that's how it is. It's an amazing phenomenon. So don't worry about wherever you see them going. Make sure they get the basics. Right. Because mind you, even though he's not interested in focusing on this, he's into this world here. When he sits down to talk to me, I can see the benefits of whatever the hell happened in QC. Right. See what I mean? And whatever I run him down with over the years. And then, uh, because here's what he is a daddy. Uh, can we have a, a very serious discussion about certain circumstances? And I'm like, what, what do you know about circumstances? Are you a musician? <laughs> <laughs> and then I, and he comes with all the, like, parts of the dictionary spills out of his mouth. And I'm like, so where did you get that vocabulary from? You still can't see that. QC I know he got it from. You made something. He, got it from he got part of it from QC, hey. but, 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 but he got a lot of it just from talking to his father. He doesn't realize it. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah. That's the thing with children. When I was growing up, I didn't realize I was getting it from my father either. My mom and grandparents didn't talk the way I speak. They like, what did you say again? Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, and stuff like that. But whenever I sat with my father, he would be the one who would talk to me this way. So, son, listen to me carefully. <laughs> I am your father, and it is my response. 
And so over the years, you keep hearing that. That's what happens. So he didn't even realize that even though he hated this, all the years of interaction, God, that's, that's, that's the thing about it. It's an interesting thing. Yeah, so don't worry about them. Let them rip. But make sure they learn how to read, right, Ed? Exactly. How are you? Welcome aboard. <laughs> been a while. Where have you been all this time? Right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 This, I looked at this and a lot of this, a lot of topics were really economy one. Uh, yeah. yeah so and there's a reason for that actually. Oh. And so let me just say up front, accounting is not very exciting. Yeah. Uh, I'm saying that at the beginning. Mm. It could be quite boring for many people anyway, especially if you're not an accountant by profession or you're not doing any of this work in practice. But unfortunately, one of the reasons, because it's a corporate governance and financial data, the, the reason why we have the accounting side of it, because directors of most companies or any company, or committees or whatever, they have two primary responsibilities. Two of which oftentimes they often neglect. Either because of ignorance or on purpose. I'm sure you've heard about all the scandals and organizations everywhere. Most of those scandals, unfortunately, are related to corporate governance and accounting and finance. My, my, my. Where people are playing around with the rules and the money. And so, what, what I'm going to try and do is, while I give you some of the fundamentals of accounting, so that if you sit on a board and you hear stuff, you wouldn't be totally out of this world, like, what the hell is that? Somebody has a discussion of what the general ledger is out of order. And you're like, what is a general ledger? See, if you're a board member, you don't want to ask, have to ask yourself if you don't have to, what is a general ledger? When you hear that word, you want to be comfortable with what that word means. Because you're making decisions about the what? Future of the firm or company on those boards you sit. When you hear income statement and balance sheets and those kinds of things, you want to at least understand what they are in principle and how they work in general. You're not going to be involved in the accounting side of how to create them in their entirety. That's not your job these next few weeks. In fact, that's not even a director's job in practice. You follow? The director only wants enough information so they can understand the general information and make what? Informed decisions on that board. Or if somebody on the board decides they want to violate some of the rules, uh, if you have this information on the governance side or the accounting side uh, or the auditing side, for example, you can say, excuse me, uh, John, Mary, uh, that is not the appropriate approach to take. And then they'll get together and say, we need to get rid of that one or something. She's always objecting. So everything this class, but um, basically I mean it's too late for people who um, on the board, or what was the next interest? Who should be interested in this? Any, well, it's designed for persons who sit, or who would like to sit, or who may sit okay. one day. But mm -hmm. I, I hope you discover at the end mm -hmm. that even if you never sit on a board, there's some information in here that you can use somewhere mm -hmm. along the way. Okay. Whether it's in your personal life, on the job where you work, directly or indirectly. Maybe you may have to give advice to somebody else who's connected to you somehow. So there's a lot of ways you can use some of this stuff, even if you never, ever sit on a board. Okay. Anybody sits in a church committee board? Anything like that? No, no not yet. Not yet, no. <laughs> But one day they might call upon you too. 
set on some church thing. And, 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 and since church is the house, the house of God, anything that goes wrong, you should be free to say it wrong. Mm -hmm. You think you would be? Mm -hmm. The real church or political church? Both. both. <laughs> the political one is worse. <laughs> the real one might be staggering and stunning to some. <laughs> but you, you would think that if you sit, see, if you sit on a secular board, you expect people to be conniving and manipulating and yeah. do all kinds of weird stuff. You expect that, even though it is not required. And that's part of the discussion as well in these sessions that we have to make sure that whenever we sit and wherever we sit that we make decisions that are good ones, ethical ones, correct ones, and try as hell to stay away from. Yeah. Because sometimes, yeah, people will offer to bribe you. It's very common. Senators and leaders around the world are often given suitcases and Money is transferred to their accounts and all kinds of stuff. Not not around the world, meaning Bahamas included. Did you know that we like we have people who take bribes in Bahamas too? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Under the table. <laughs> do we still do that old thing under the table in the twenty first century? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. More now so than. Yeah. What happens if you call a name? Because remember. <laughs> Proper governance requires that you what? Call a name. Do you know that? If you sit on a board and somebody's doing something inappropriate, proper governance requires that you call a name. Problem is, if you call a name, well, you don't know what the hell will happen if you call a name anymore. Last time yours be called, huh? In the old days when you call a name, the person whose name you called was investigated and they were, they were found guilty. Then they were shamed. They named them shame. Nowadays, if you call a name, first of all, they may not be investigated depending on whose name you call. And if the evidence does point in that direction, they may not be shamed depending on whose name you call. As a matter of fact, the only person who may be devastated at the end of the day, exercising his or her proper public governance rights. <laughs> Yeah, that, that word. That stinks. Can you imagine that? So we're here to talk about how to behave ethically uh, from you know, financial accounting, governance, and all that stuff. But now we have another challenge. With, once we're armed with this information and we go out there, how do we exercise it? Well, that's the moral and ethical decision that you have to make on your own. I'm just here to take you through this part of the stuff, this technical part, so that hopefully when you hear stuff, you say, wait a minute, no, 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 no. That's not net income. That's a loss. Don't try and just don't go there. And furthermore, this is a church. How can you all be lying in church? See, stuff like that. Then next week they say, we, 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 we're sorry to announce that sister, yeah, sister Rose is no longer no, a part is, of this. She has left us to pursue other. Yeah, other. <laughs> It shouldn't be that way, but oftentimes that's the way it is. But don't let that deter you. Do this crap. Arm yourself just in case you need to go out there and make a decision about which route you should take. That's that. All right. Uh, the other thing is, uh, I'm just going to ramble on and on with stuff. That means that you are free to interrupt me at any time. There's no special time for taking questions and all that stuff. If I say something, you know, like, excuse me. Or if you have an opinion, opinion. Or if you have an example or experience somewhere, example, or just let it rip. That's that's what that's what I do in my session. Okay, feel free. Okay, the only thing you can't bring into the room is a weapon. But even bring, if you're hungry, bring food. If your colleagues don't mind, I don't mind. Why do I say if your colleagues don't mind? Yeah, I, I may not mind, but other people they kick me in the old crowds. Chinese school again, I hate that. And I see you know, people are upset. Yeah, but if your colleagues don't mind, bring stuff if you need to munch. I have no problem with that whatsoever. 
especially from working people who are going to be here until 8 o'clock at night and all that stuff. Feel free. Um, just a little housekeeping. This is the person who will be shouting at you for the next two and a half weeks. This is my contact, 565-9551. And this is my email address if you need to email me. I'm always on my email, sjhwilkinson at hotmail.com. Isn't that an E? Which one? This? Yeah. yeah, I know, it looks like an E. Actually, it's the E thing. Oh, uh, okay. Just, uh, yeah, at. <laughs> I'm still working on the It's on the cover sheet, too. So, so yeah, it's on the cover sheet. There you go. That looks a little better than mine. All right, any questions so far? Feel free to ask them anytime you feel like it. All right, what I'd like to do next, before we jump in, just this. Why did I ever do accounting anyway? But it's important. Uh, it's important if you sit on a board, if it's important, it's important if you don't. Okay? Some of this stuff you may even find useful for yourself. Or you may have children who may be doing something in school or need to know something about the stuff from the business. You never know. And every little thing that you have under your belt, you can help them yourself or someone else. That's the key. Separate apart from whether you sit anywhere. Alright? So, before I go any further, let me just call your name. I'd like for you to introduce yourself. Jenny, tell me anything you feel like. So I'll have an idea who I'm shouting to for the next couple of weeks. Is that Naveen? Naveen Roll. Hey, Naveen. 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 Which branch are you at? Oh, Wolf Road. At Wolf Road? Oh, at Fidelity. Okay. Ten years. Are you still excited about that work? No. Yeah, ten years is a long time. Twenty years? Twenty years? I could be twenty years and only look. That's another thing. Twenty years already? Same thing? Why split it as that's 20? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. So you're thinking about another profession? I am. Okay. So that means whether you sit on the board or not, and maybe one day you will, this stuff can only be of value wherever you go, even where you still are, until you go.
that's good. Because now you can say hello. I'm good at verification. So. Then they have an audit area, mm -hmm. the internal audit, okay. and all these kinds of things. So the options are open. And then you never know, one day you might finally sit on the board. <laughs> so, there is politicking. Because sitting on the board anywhere, in case you didn't know, is not merely a function of your ability. Did you know that? Who you know? Say it again. It's who you know. Say it again. It's who you know. Who you know. Why is it who you know you think? Because when I do in my foolishness, I want you to do it with me. To put it very simply, and unfortunately, that is generally true. And you don't want no real compliant person telling you you're doing it wrong. No. That's why I have never been invited to a board, I think. Because <laughs> <laughs> people know me, but they don't know me. <laughs> I know, that's strange. Mm. For, for board invitations, you have to be known in a certain way. Yeah, you have to move in certain circles. circles. I don't move in circles. You have to be out hanging. I don't hang, no. You have to enjoy, like, whatever they do. You, have to, you have to bend the rules. Yeah, yeah, you have to be somebody who is known. You like you don't see. Yeah, known to be doing it. And I'm not known to be doing it. So, yeah, they never invite me. Whenever they have them, I'd be like... Is Two yeah, like, I know stuff. Right I've been around. I've taught stuff. I can help you. I can help you. They don't really want that kind of help. They want somebody who will agree with their agenda. No matter how unacceptable it might become. Mm -hmm. And my problem is, I am not going to do that. And they seem to have figured that out. So they never want me. I am not about to give up my name for a few bucks. That's the problem. Because I have two sons as well. Not only do I hate prison, I don't want, I don't want to go anywhere. Not only do I hate that stuff, but then behind me, yeah, two other dudes with Wilkinson in their name. So if I do something, what are they going to do? They're going to be what? Governed accordingly. So if this old man is a thing up, But it doesn't seem like that matters though, because people who do all kinds of crap seem to do well. That's another irony. Like people come out of prison and flourish. People go all kinds of underhand stuff and flourish. They perpetrate like they flourish. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's weird. And then people who try to do the upright thing catch you now. Got to find, go work it. Got to pay all your bills. I tell all the eggs who are doing all kinds of crap. They, they, they can't even hold the body. Money, so. Money. It's a strange irony. My, my, my. But that's okay. Don't let it change. If, if doing things as soon as your agenda, stick to your guns. All right. Thank you so much, Ms. Bethel, for bringing all that on board. <laughs> Good luck in the Commonwealth. Is, yeah, busy place. Lots of politics going on. Not only there. You all have it as well. All right. Sharice? Oh, Sherry O. Sherio. Sherio. Why nobody understands the name of the lie? Raja? That's what it is. Oh, okay. I didn't see the eye in there. <laughs> okay. Okay, Sherio. <laughs> Let it rip. That's unusual. Yes, it is. Very uncommon. Seriously. The only cherry I ever saw in my life was the cereal. <laughs> Way to go. Let it rip, Sherio. Um, I'm a former banker of 10 years. Okay. Um, now I'm with the gaming board. Oh. I'm building account and financial services. What do you do there exactly? Otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> why she smiles. In but you don't have to tell us everything. In, in a area, nutshell. In my area, we're responsible for all of the young revenue. Why is she smiling? Like she has a little suspicious grin she like that too. Oh, okay, we're so watch a line now. We're responsible for revenue. For revenue. Yeah, that's you know, the best jobs. Chase, mm -hmm. you guys have a huge mm -hmm. responsibility. Mm -hmm. this, uh, revenue. Yeah. That's so serious, it's unbelievable. Mm 
Yeah. Web shop too? Yeah. You mean the web shop? So, yeah. oh. that means that you guys are definitely in the right place. <laughs> One way or the other. No question about it. And since I know that you guys are in this hot spot, I am going to make deliberate references. <laughs> Not intended to harm, just to enlighten. How's that? Yeah. <laughs> make the class interesting. Oh your purpose my God. <laughs> you guys, I don't envy you at all. That's a tough job to do. Jeez. <laughs> Casinos too? Yeah. Oh my goodness. The first thing I'd want to see on your balance sheet, see already? <laughs> You're not even doing that this week today. You're doing that next week. That's not. The, the first thing that I'd want to see on your balance sheet that you work with, somewhere or anybody else's, is the gaming board's accounts receivable. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk more about that account later. <laughs> but I just like. I have to throw it out now because that is so seriously connected. In fact, if they really want to be about it, they might discover that this might end up being the most important account in the general ledger. See that language? That's why you're here because you're going to hear these things. So whether you're on a board or somewhere else, these things are going to be important to you in one form or another in every form that you might get in these next few weeks okay thank you so much for <laughs> you like your work again yeah, yeah. It's, yeah it's, it's interesting work do you ever run into any political situations yeah we avoid them how do you avoid politics because <laughs> well it all depends on from which which standpoint which, the, which direction um, Casinos, you know, you have um, 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 uh, what? I have got in my head. Uh, anyway, with the web shops, yes, we don't get into a discussion right. because the private to be made, first of all. Indeed. And when persons come with certain Six certain things to pop the web shop, yes, I mean they can they can actually draw a reference to it from, um, uh, oh Lord, that thing was my head. That's okay, so far so good. Day. We are still intrigued oh out of head or not. He tried to be mine, just know what I'm to say. What is she trying to say? Our regulations, we have regulations. We have regulations that we, we point them in a direction to. Yes. You know, instead my, of. I do understand you. Indeed. Yeah, and I don't envy you at all. <laughs> and yes, that is what you're required to do somehow to point them in that direction without getting involved mm -hmm. even though sometimes you know you ought to get more involved it's a good idea to point them in that direction oh, no, and you're never going to get involved in my area never good you give it to money no 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 you refer to the regulations yes you have compliance uh, department and yes any you issues go over, over there go over board. there go over there don't mess with me nope. all i want to know is the amount is I'll bring the check. <laughs> yeah, the tax has been checked, double checked and triple checked. The amount is bring the money. Don't ask me whether or not. Don't ask me to look at the little table. Wow, I don't envy you ladies at all. As you can see, part of the sessions as well, at least as far as I'm concerned, Part of the development is just listening to your colleagues because all of a sudden you get a whole lot of enlightenment just from the few things they might say about whatever they say fascinating all right thank you so much sherry for that that's a rough job anitra okay anitra roll any relations in the van Anybody from Bimini then? Oh, it's Umaro. Oh, okay. 
I mean, I meant to exhume her, not oh, definitely. Okay. <laughs> the Alice is another Muslim woman. Totally. Yeah, the rules of a exhuma. Okay, uh, Nitra. Um, the same gaming board? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I got it. Yes, check. Uh oh. That means you've seen the good the and the ugly. Okay. Um, I work in the building and 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 so you will find some of these things very interesting. Some of it you've worked with, you're working with, and maybe some things will be added to help you bump along with certain things. Maybe when you're done with these sessions, you go back with a John design. I'm like, really? 18 years and I didn't see that? Something like that. Now that then you have some extra stuff to work with, which always is a good idea. Thank you very much. I don't envy you guys at all. All right. Is that Arnold? Anissa. Uh, Sorry, Anissa. <laughs> okay. My name is Anissa Lopez. I work at Deloitte and Touche. Accounting auditing firm, yes. They say I'm a clerk. But what do you say? But I do, I, my job mainly entails of everybody's job in a nutshell. Indeed. So I work with partners, auditors, consultants, um, risk and compliance. Yes, because you're in the middle of a mess, <laughs> helping everybody get crap done. Yeah, accounting, all that stuff. So. Do you like the work you do? Um, um, the class we had earlier really, really helped with, with it. And this one will help a little bit more. Yeah. Especially. They're not, they're not, they're good people. And once you know what you're doing, you're pretty much fine. No one's going to bother you. They know, when they see you know what you're doing. So. But getting to know is another story. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. That's how it is everywhere you go. When you're new, they always harass you. It's nothing new. No matter whether you're new at 20 years old or new at 90 years old, you still get harassed because you're new. Absolutely. So don't worry about it. Just let it rip. They okay. see young brains. So yeah, and you have energy, and that's what they want. They're like yeah, sweat. Obviously, you're shocked. So. Mm -hmm. That helps. Can be shocked if yeah. they have. Yeah, I'm Because <laughs> since everybody the light thing that they know, it mm -hmm. all, yes. got to be shocked. It's funny people in professions think they know it all. But really, you don't know it all. All you know is some more about what? Your profession. Well, they have a lot of training. You go through a lot of training, so. That's I, fine. That's I, just to help you be a little better at your profession. Yeah, so you got to do like at least 40 hours of training in one. At a certain time, they give you. So. I mean, good. it helps a lot. That's a good deal. Yeah. You do a lot you're, of you're in the right environment, they're going to work you to death. <laughs> but you're young, you don't need to worry about it. You don't have anything to worry about. No children to think, no, no babies no to walk breastfeed, no, yeah, no husband. Like, you just reach home? <laughs> do I still ask that question 21st century? You just reach? No, not anymore. Guys have given up. They, whatever. they like the money, so <laughs> <laughs> they like the pay. No. I don't know why. I don't know why chicks took over like at the end of my time. <laughs> why didn't you guys take over like 25 years ago? Wow. So I could tell my wife, I take the children to work, to school, <laughs> pay the bills. <laughs> when the car break down, I'm call my wife. When everything what doesn't work, call my wife. Money's due, call my wife. Yeah, you say that now, just that she's using your money. To do it. That's not, no, that doesn't help me at all. Because you're right, she is using my money to do it. So now I have two problems. Call me, call, call her with my money. And, and I'm, uh, well, that's good. That's it's exactly what I wanted to do, so we get back to it. Just keep going. It's cool. It's good. Oh. 
Glad you got the time. Glad that you guys didn't try. I'm in an, I'm so, I'm, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, at the end, it happened too late for me. But maybe these guys, <laughs> these young fellows benefit. I thank God she paid a bill. All right. She's saying, oh, she's saying no. Oh, she's saying no. I know from my mom. My mom was always broke. Then she never had much money, but for her, like, and I'd be like, I was a little boy, mommy, isn't that money? She said, yes, yeah, so? That's how I learned as now I grew up. That broke doesn't mean broke, but it means broke. You can't pay today, right? Exactly. 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 Exactly.
and they won't get into the real nuts and bolts. So yeah, that's a big problem. Okay? So places like NIV and many other corporate entities and entities of other kinds. Only a few people hold certain key information. Right. Accounting people like the financial controller. Like in IT people, like the chief IT person. If that person drops their dog, eat your lunch. Because yes. nobody else knows. Mm -hmm. And they make sure nobody else knows. I know a company, yeah. the IT person actually was sick and had to go to Florida. My, my, my. Something, happened with, this, something happened with the system. And after they went going through everybody, I said, okay, good, let's just call this guy because we know he knows that the man was in Florida and was in the hospital. Something happened that we didn't expect while he was just away. Yes. And they think they just called him there to wait till the man finished his medical treatment before they could bring My system. God. No. Or either that or bring in somebody new and start from scratch. Absolutely, especially in key areas. There should never be one person alone What's who knows session? how the thing yeah. works. Yeah. The lady who was working at my spot, only reason why I got in is because she was retiring. And then she had to shut down because she's a nobody No, nobody else. I don't even, I that's mean, a I common problem. She held them hostage. Sure. That's where she was in. This you know what he no. take in my job <laughs> till I leave? Yeah, till I oh, yeah. Yeah. And then she that's took right. that, she took that, that. that, she trained me. And so now, if something, they, if something, anybody in the firm needs, they have to come to me. Exactly. <laughs> And so now, I since you are a student, so you're going to make sure you that you don't train uh, that's right. anybody. No, well, okay? What? Make sure they treat you right. That's I have to go off-site. This is I your know moment. many times, we have, you know, when you have a board, not a board, but a board, but like Deloitte firm is global. So we don't do our own audit. So if we have someone come in from one of the head offices to come down and audit the firm, so I have to work alongside her, like shadowing her, because there was no time to really do any training. So I had to pick up what I knew because now she's she's retired. And yeah. she's in UK. Yeah. So I retired in, 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 in the UK? Living it up? What the hell? That's because how that's what is the result of so years of keeping it together. <laughs> and her office okay, only needs to get those raises. This is not a prejudice. what I know. This is not a prejudice. <laughs> But, how the hell you can have a whole... These are the comments. I don't mean anything I say. It's just for illustrative purposes. How's that? Let me put in the comments. How could you have a whole, 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 white chick from the UK dominate a position in the Commonwealth such that when she leaves, no fucking person in the Commonwealth knew except the youngster to come in and hustle her way to by shadow boxing. No, she's 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 black. Um, she was here when the firm first. So what did she go to UK Wendy. for? That's what her daughter is, so she retired. Oh, her daughter. Same daughter problem. Here. How could they? <laughs> 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 she probably from London, anyhow. Well, apparently mm. she built the system from the ground. Up. Oh. No, no, folks, I know all no, the blah, blah, blah. Okay, all I'm saying is, no organization yeah, yeah, should be run right that way. She probably could remote into that system from somewhere. No, but apparently, yes. apparently whatever she, well, however she built the system, when the persons from abroad come, they don't know nobody in the firm. Folks, So when they come to audit, if everything in order, which it was, I was like, well, wow. So everybody's looking at her like, wow, what she was doing was actually, they tested they you get tested. If you I don't care how wowing true, it is, was they, my They could have done whatever she wanted to do and clean it up when she was ready. No question was, like that. Oh, the, I know. The, I, I think she, she really did. A doesn't good matter good. if it was all perfectly done. All In a well-run machine, a this thing called control means that you should always have at least two persons. I don't care what it is and how well it's run. I come under, I come under That's not what I mean. There should have been somebody in addition to her yes. before you came. Oh. That's my point. So that if something happened to her, somebody else could kick in and do that job. When she retired, that person is there to train you. 
But her plan is then when she retired behind back as a consultant. No, so so she, 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 she ran. No, she had a good plan. What was the company she plan? Can't. Yeah, she had a good plan. What was the company's plan? They didn't have one. They didn't have one. Evidently. They had no success. And how could you have a firm like Tingham? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Think so. Did one person run an old stuff? Yeah. And then she remote and she checking all your stuff daily in your office. It's just yes. like entry from, from the Bond movies. Exactly. What it is is what we basically do is we just wear records of attention. Yeah, we so know. So everything goes out. The goes thing, the, out, I know. Guess what? Doesn't matter if you were just spitting and drying. Spitting. You get my point? Yes. Whatever the function is, proper controls ought to be that at least two persons are aware of it. And a firm such as this one. See, if it was a medical firm or engineering firm, I could say they're not into that. Did she but take an vacation? auditing firm? Did she take vacation? So how? She just do everything before she went on vacation and then they get people on call. Like, no, well, no, what you do is not really like, okay. I don't know how to explain it. I know. I can't. It's spooky. It's like trying to think Don't worry, Miss. You can't know how to explain it. Yeah. <laughs> don't try to explain it even because you'll figure it out if you're there <laughs> and have your own little thing going on. Just like. I just pick up where she left off. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you'll figure out your systems I, along the way. Then you'll leave. But and just for your own information as a youngster. As <laughs> and as part of this program of governance and control, wherever, whatever environment you're in, there should always be a second. And you do check the balances. Check the balances requires two people. No, uh, conflict of interest. This is compliant with Lord because she cleans up after herself. Which, of course, is a control weakness. Signs off on it. That's See? A, that's a Which is for what? Governance. She didn't mm -hmm. sign off on it, anything like that. Well, mm -hmm. how they know what they signed off on? I don't care. No, even if it's a process, she yeah, should not be the only person that. on a process. What, what, what our department is, is record and retention. Of course, we work in, um, we are basically a hand to all the other subsidiaries or whatever. Right. With the firm. Yes, but she, she never like signed off on nothing, game. or that would be the partners and the managers and stuff. Of like course. That. The so, point, the but point I'm is she to prepare that for them. No, you have auditors who prepare those. Well, well, what records and retention is really just taking the documentation and creating and make, storage and so on. Right. But, that, but even, even, though job, even though that's the job, even though that's the job, she was the only one who knew how to do that the work. Exactly. Okay. She had her own system, and she was the only one who knew how to do it. Now, are you the only one? Well, you know. Also, this three hours. So are you retiring? No, retiring. <laughs> <laughs> and she went over there from the house, and she's like, she's only 19. And she's like, yeah, this is I'm 19. You're not 19? You would be indispensable. I'm 24. So young. Big difference, big difference. So young. young. That's, <laughs> that's the point, my grandma would say.
the point, yeah, you should, you're probably looking at things maybe a little bit differently at the end of the day. Maybe you might get some of those questions as to why things happen, or at least you'll be a little more adamant now about finding out. Just don't be too adamant, because people don't like you to be too adamant right. for some reason. I don't mind people being adamant, so because why do we do it? I don't have a problem with that. But people in organizations seem very reluctant to share information. Still, only what they have to. All right. Okay, Jamal. Baker. Yes, sir. Okay, let it rip, Jamal. Jamal uh, Baker, reality bank. You know Naveen? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know Naveen? Yeah. Okay, what do you do at Fidelity? Uh, I'm a personal financial rep. What does that mean in English? It's a myriad of things. I am sure. It's a job. <laughs> uh, it is. It's, it's like three functions. But do you see customers? I do. Okay. I see customers. I go and do presentations. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, open a client. Yeah. I, I quite get how long have you been there? Bring in new business. Oh, new I business too? Yeah. Yes. Business development. So. Is it easy to get a loan in Fidelity yet? <laughs> it's gravy. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because yeah. it seems like they take, in the old days, they used to take you to the ropes. Yeah, they can Make your life that. miserable. No like you have to be married for 20 years, be on your job for 17 and a half years. If you look too old, you can't get loan. Well, that's, that's, that's well, that's the the I'm confusing the time. <laughs> but obviously it's not like that. Okay. I've been there nine months now. Oh, you're a new kid on the block? Okay. At Fidelity. Yeah. At Fidelity. Did been you work at a bank before? Yeah, I've been in bank in 18 years now. Oh! Okay, wow. <laughs> so you kind of changed the whole bloody scene. Yeah. Yeah. Do so you love it at Fidelity? I support Benjamin's. Benjamin's Oh, uh, yeah, I see you're dealing with <laughs> the fuckness. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you enjoy what you're doing so far? So far. Okay. It's banking and banking. Yeah, generally. Mm -hmm. Are Bohemians just from thinking now? Yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. For sure. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Jamal. I'm uh, sorry, are you doing this course because? The same reason everyone else. Okay. Because whatever you learn, you get, no one can take it away. No one can take yeah. it away. No one. And then, you know, you broaden your no doubt. knowledge base. No doubt. Just when you think you know it all, yeah. you find out there's something you still don't know, for sure. All right, last but not least, Daphne. Yeah. I don't see any employee here, Daphne. I'm only on my own car. Oh. <laughs> she's, not, she's not rubbing anybody with her own money. No. Nope. Way to go. Let it rip down. Um, this is my second or third or fourth time around at schooling and trying to improve upon the little bits of knowledge that I know from here and there. I've been in banking, different types of banking, um, many different companies for this will be 30 years now. I'm 30 years already? That's my foot. When you age, may age, you mind. Go hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think I, actually before. Yeah, I remember Daphne life, so was I'll, like a little youngster. I'll get that out. I, I'll get that out. <laughs> and she was a little tiny, little, and she's still tiny. How you know, you're still tiny, Daphne? Everybody look at me. You put on bloody thing up. <laughs> yeah, thing up. Right, then I was skinny too. Um, so uh, uh, I started out in commercial banking, did many years of private banking or offshore banking. I'm still into private banking. Of transition due to staff changes and different things. Um, in the most recent years, I've been on the corporate side of things. Uh -huh. And currently, well, I'm not on the board, uh, but currently, well, I have to attend all of the board meetings. I'm the corporate secretary. Then you are on the thing, some I'm board not board purposes, board yes. Board, Definitely. So, so you're in the right place. I am responsible for corporate governance. <laughs> you're in the right place for sure. Uh, I don't particularly present at the board uh, meetings or anything like that, but um, I still need to know what's going on. Yes, yeah. you do. Very much so, and um, of my own accord, I am here just to straighten out some things I've been hearing. 
Uh-oh. To make sure I, I it's reiterated to me. Uh-oh. So that um, She's on a mission. when I do my central bank reportings and the central bank balance registry, securities commission, wherever else it is, head office that I have to report to internal audit, external audit, that I am um, well versed. And in, in what, what I am um, reporting, so I'm hoping to, well, this will probably be like a combination of all the different phases of banking and business. So now I'm seeing it from the other side of things. So it's not the client side now, it's the corporate side, it's the government side, it's the penalty, the compliance, yeah. everything Indeed. mixed into one. And so I, I thought I'd refresh my memory on some of these things. Well, welcome on board. So it's totally of my own accord. Yeah, because you've gone from one at the end of the pole to the other. other side. That should be interesting. Had I said I was coming here, I probably wouldn't be able to be here. Why not? Well, you know, I'll be too busy. Oh. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I know how that is. But, you oh, know, I, I think it's good to, to, to know some things of my own. You know, you read it, and I, I could read this back and forth, this corporate governance from the central bank back and forth. But it's good to be able to compare information with colleagues from Practical. different Absolutely. aspects. Absolutely. Just listening to persons. Because compliance is compliance is compliance, no matter where you go. Governance is the same thing, no matter where you go. And sometimes if you get all of your information or most of your information from one source, you could be skewed. I didn't study governance like that. I, I call upon it like, you know, because all this compliance thing is, they didn't have all of this when I was schooling at first. Right. Okay. So you learn your accounting, you learn your management, but compliance is pretty much. So you learn it through the work. I want to learn it differently now. Formally, a little more formally. And for more sharing, because when you're with the one company, you still only get it from their perspective. Indeed, which is one of the reasons why I encourage um, students who who are involved in compliance of any kind. If you have issues, uh, concerns, questions, you don't have to call any names and indict anybody. Just talk about it because what happens is somebody from here. <laughs> the revenue people? Uh, yeah, the revenue, they, they might need to get something. Uh, uh, somebody else might need to get something. Somebody might, from Deloitte even. But sharing, sharing is so good yeah. because you strengthen what you know. You learn a whole lot, trust me, outside of the formal material. Okay? So please, blabber, yeah, let it rip if you have something to say. All right, any questions before we go on? If you get up. No questions. All right. So, here we are with the boring accounting. I'm sorry if you find yourself, start counting sheep, stand up, stretch, you know, do whatever you need to do. I'll not be offended. But some of this stuff we have to do because part of the governance process is understanding the financial and audit process, especially if you're responsible for making decisions within a firm, on a board, or even just working within the firm in the environment because while you're in the environment things happen around you and the more you know about things that are happening around you especially financial things accounting things the more you can understand what's going on and maybe just maybe influence it somehow god forbid at some point okay and part of the influencing process is what and becoming more because every little thing you become enlightened about, you're a little bit better at what you are doing. All right, so some of the things we're going to talk about are the basic accounting principles, uh, the ever-famous accounting equation, uh, the all-important book, double-entry bookkeeping process. You'll see that who uses the financial information. We'll talk about that some. And then, of course, we'll talk about the important statements. Now, these financial statements, I'm not going to give you a big old, long, typical set of financial statements because you're not here to pass a CPA or any other A exam. Okay? You're here to get the fundamentals so that when stuff come up, you can intelligently understand and discuss or make a suggestion about certain things. Or in your case, go in and say, wait a minute. Um, Maybe we need to do something different here at NIB now. I know what a general ledger is now. Can I see hours? See? Mm -hmm. And even though you don't understand everything, just call in for it. It's going to cause somebody to panic. Like, why the hell? Why the hell? See, what was he freaking general ledger? 
all this time she didn't want to see general all yeah. of a sudden in june she wants to see the general ledger and you don't have to understand all of it no just request it you may not get it but request it anyway if they happen to give it to you just look at it like you know what you're looking at <laughs> Mm. Don't worry, you're gonna know. Yeah, in a little while. Not today, but soon. Yeah. And that's the point. And 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 then and then when you finish looking at the general, the next week, go and say, excuse me. Um, uh, I need somebody to print the trial balance, please. What the flip? You need to file this check. check. Go off and you want a trial balance. Yes. Because that's one of the first things auditors call for right. when they come in to do an audit. Trial balance. So she started coming up with these funny questions. Mm. All of a sudden, folks are going to want to know what's going on with Seymour. Maybe they know how to find the trial balance. So you'll be asking some interesting <laughs> right. questions. That's just an example along the way. All right, so we're going to look at the basic statements, the income statement. Sometimes known as the, anybody knows? Profit and loss statement. Okay? The Brits call it profit and loss. The Americans call it an income statement. Okay? Then we're going to look at a short balance sheet so you see how that works. Uh, a simple cash flow statement. And then we're going to talk a little bit about budgeting. Anybody has a personal budget? I do. We try. I do. That's okay. Companies try to. Some of them do it successfully, some of them not so successfully. Okay? Uh, if you're doing a budget and it isn't working, that's okay. Most of the times it doesn't work well. You just have to keep what? Working it. Absolutely. So if you need to make changes, make changes and go back to it. If you need to make changes, make changes and go back to it. That's the point. But at least you have, by doing that, you have a what? Set of guidelines. And that's why organizations are encouraged. If you're a board member or committee member and you go in there and you don't have any discussion about a budget, so one fine day in the middle of a meeting, you might say, excuse me, does this firm have a budget? Then everybody think, hello? Who brought this chick on the board? And then they'll say, no, why? Well, I think we need to have a budget because then you give them some of the reasons you learn along the way. Simple though they might be, they're going to be effective because it now means that, see, budgets force people to give what? An account. So if you budget... Uh, to spend fifteen thousand dollars in the year on entertainment, and by the first quarter, somebody's a, the department has already spent twenty three thousand. First of all, they shouldn't get that far, should they? Where should they be brought to a halt? At fifteen. See my point? So the budget is a what? Control measure. It's controlled spending, and even if they need to go over. One of the first things, questions that come up whenever any entity needs to go over budget is, why? So once that starts to happen, then departments and organizations are going to start looking at what they spend a little more carefully. Which is one of the reasons why many organizations do not like budgets. Because budgets put what? Constraints on them. And politicians in particular. We have the annual budget, but who follows that? It's a formality, and as soon as the budget speech is over, it's okay, fine, take everything down, to hell with that. We have our own agenda, and some firms are that way too. So if you're sitting on a board where the budget is being abused, you have to decide, are you going to be the one to question the abuse, or are you just going to go along and shut up and let it rip? I, in my mind, some food for thought. Uh, then we're going to talk a little bit about audits, why we have them, the difference between the internal audit and the external audit, and then uh, a few moments on business ethics. The corporate governance side of things that you're talking about with Kevin, uh, that's more from uh, the general corporate governance sector. This part of it talks a little bit more about the, some of the principles of ethics in business. Even though the corporate governance is covered as part of this, we're going to just talk about a few specific things about business ethics. For example, if you are the member of a board, as a board member, you should not have the company channeling business to your own personal company that you set up to sell chicken. You see what I mean? Why? It's a conflict of 
interest. Problem is, many board members do that a lot. It's just that everybody is in collusion, so therefore nobody is exposed until somebody is exposed. Do you follow? Absolutely. Okay. So uh, these are the kinds of things that we see under the issue of business ethics. If you build somebody once, should you build them again? No. That's unethical in business, isn't it? Double billing, unless it's an error. But some people's double billings are not an error. They double bill to see if you'll double pay. <laughs> so if your controls are not good, and then, then you wouldn't know that you paid already, would you? And so when you pay again, you think they're going to send the check back? Oftentimes they don't. All of these are unethical in business. Can you think of something else that is unethical in business? Right off the top of your head? Yeah, using company money for personal use. Absolutely. Many a senator in the United States have been desenatized. <laughs> because they use the government's money for their own personal use. Private trips. Yes, private trips. We should never do that. Means. Yes. Expensive hotels. <laughs> Call girls. Do they still have call girls in the 21st century? They probably call someone else. It's called something else. Call someone else. But we still have them? Yeah, we still have them. I thought we don't have them. Oh. Uh, I, well, after the Me Too movement, I thought they'd take stuff or not. Mm. Me Too. No? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, all of these things. Can help what? Business at business ethics implications. That's really the whole point. And so that's really why we're here, so we can look at some because sometimes we get to work and we get so busy we don't get into these little things. We just get into the what? Hum drum every day hacking. And then when we leave you're tired. So you do you want to discuss something else? No. Sleep. <laughs> then you go back and you hack again. You don't really get an opportunity all too often to uh, divert and diversify a little bit into some of the things that are swirling around, even in your own environment. All right, so what is accounting? Anybody knows? What is accounting, you think? Is it collecting all the money by giving what? Is that accounting? <laughs> it, it does have something to do with it. Yeah, collecting money is very important, actually. As a matter of fact, what else is accounting? Collecting the money, that's accounting. Basically. Collecting the money and not recording it anyway, is that proper accounting? No. no. A lot of people collect money and don't record it, did you know that? Absolutely. Sometimes when you go to pay a bill at a company, some people give you a receipt and they tear up the counterfoil. What does that mean? What does tear up the counterfoil mean? The company portion, they tear it up and keep the money. Yeah, yeah, but if one person is doing everything, who's going to check the number thing? Mm -hmm. yeah. Especially if it's manual. Especially if it's manual. Mm -hmm. It's even more difficult. Yeah, basically, accounting is the keeping accounting of the financial records of our organization. Yeah, keeping records. In other words, what, it, what, what the bookkeeper does primarily and the accountant, does, what they do is every transaction that happens in the firm, their job is to capture it using some method of accounting. Okay? The key is to capture every single transaction somehow. If you fail to capture every transaction, then your accounting system is failing. Okay? And we'll see a little later how that can happen. If the gaming board doesn't collect all the revenue, at the end of the day, uh, total revenue for the gaming board is going to be what? Overstated or understated? Understated. Okay? And the same thing happens for any company. Okay? If you do not capture everything, and the money in the bank will be less than it should be. Okay? So capturing the business transaction is the key. That's why we need to have this thing that we call a source document. Whenever a transaction occurs, what happens? There has to be evidence of it. If you are in accounting and somebody gives you a transaction to record 
or somewhere without a document, what should you do? You should request the document. If they write on a piece of paper, is that enough? No, 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 no. You need a proper invoice of some kind, don't you? So that you can have evidence that the transaction occurred. Don't let the boss shove something down your throat, intimidate you with some words. Uh, record that I bring it tomorrow. Well, you'll record it when? When they bring it. Because accounting and accountants, we don't operate on what will happen. No, no, no. When it happens, then we record. You see, you see that? See how simple that is? So you don't have to be a big time CPA to get figure that out. You don't need to be all accounting wise on the board to ask the question as to whether or not the company has a proper system for collecting source documents. See what I mean? In fact, if you raise that at the board level, they might be like, what? what do you mean? Half of the board may not even understand what you mean by source documents. But basically, the source document is what? Any piece of paper, invoice, document, bill of sale, whatever it is, that proves that the transaction occurred. And that's what accountants operate on. Okay? Without that, there's nothing to record. I don't care what they tell you. They threaten your job. You have to decline until you get that document. If they threaten your children's lives, well, you may just have to leave. But the point is, the profession does not require that you give in. It requires that you get the proper documents, then you move on the transaction. And so that's what accounting does. Notice, it's systematic and it's comprehensive, meaning what? Transactions are recorded each day they come in and occur. So let's say, for example, a transaction occurs today, but the source document doesn't come until next month. Do you use next month's date or do you use today's date? Say that because folks sometimes people use both. Which one is correct? Is this where the match rule come in? You do it, you record it in the time and the action. Well, we're getting there. That's getting warm. Systematic is the first thing. Systematic means in the date order in which it occurs. So if it occurred today, but you don't get the document until next month, you still have to record it on the today's date because it happened when today. Does everybody get that? Yeah. That's how it should work. Okay? Mm -hmm. And so whenever you look in a journal, which we'll see in the accounting journal, the dates for recording transactions should be in what? Date order. You shouldn't see the 3rd, the 1st, the 17th, the 14th. No, 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 no. Hell no. Your journal should be begin at the 1st of the month. If nothing happened on the 1st, then the date for the 1st should be what? Empty. Don't say, I'll just put something in. No, 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 no. So it could look correct. Accounting doesn't work that way. Whatever date the transaction occurs, that is the date you must record in your journal. That's what accounting is all about. So that it's systematic and, what do you think comprehensive means? Complete. Yeah. In other words, you don't record it sometimes when you feel like it, and then other times when you don't, like, I'm not recording that. You can. It requires that you record everything all the time. If you fail to do that, then you are failing the system for which you work. And so those final statements that the auditors are coming to look at are going to be flawed. And sometimes the auditors pick up on that, see? Because they look at the sequence, and eventually, if you keep doing that, they're going to discover that you are not recording the information comprehensively. That certain things are understated, and some certain things are not even included in the financial records because you fail to record it at all. Okay? So a lot of people at the board level, these things are happening. They're not aware, and they shouldn't be aware because they're not into the day-to-day. -day. But the auditors try to come in to ensure that these things are done. And then when the auditors discover that something is not working, then they will come to you as board members and say, boy, we have discovered this, the following flaws in this company system, and that is why we've had this problem, that problem, that problem. And as a board member, even understanding these little words 
can be very important to your understanding of the process. So it must be systematic and it must be comprehensive. Absolutely. And by being systematic and comprehensive, then we can...